Tell us about your truck a little bit since we're out here. We ain't talked about your truck before. Truck? Your Ford back here. Ford? Your truck back here. It's behind you. Oh, that old truck? Yeah. Well, there it is. I Cumberland think. Ford. You must have bought that in Middlesboro, didn't you? Yeah. It's a 91 model. That's the last used truck I bought. So we've been looking at this churn right here and you was telling me some interesting things. You said that uh, that your mom had somebody come churn butter for her and, and made Yeah. They come <clears throat> up once a week to make butter for the for using at the house or did they sell it at the store too? No, they just made it to you. Made it to use. Had that good butter milk and that good milk and bread, that butter milk and bread, that's good. Right. We got Zoe walking around here checking the kitchen out here. She's looking yeah, over everything. Buddy. Zoe had to come up and visit with you today. So we got this churn here that somebody might can tell us maybe what year it is. I'm no expert when it comes to turns, but it looks like it's got to be 100 years old anyways, don't it? It probably is. I don't know how old it is. Now you said you made wine in it. Tell us how you did yeah. that. You'd make, they, the girls would pick, what did you have them pick to make wine? Some kind of bird? I used to make elder bloom wine. Oh, elder bloom wine. Elder bloom, it took a quarter blooms. I've got that recipe here somewhere now, how you make it, but I forgot how. I can't tell you all about it because I used to make it, but I forgot how to do a lot of it. Well, so you started out making it in this. Started out in that. So you put the blooms in there and mash them up with a dasher? And put the blooms and sugar. I believe it was nine pounds of sugar. You put in that churn. Yeah. And you had you uh, elder blooms. Yeah. You just used the little blooms. Did they grow around here in the holler? Yeah, they grow then, but they don't now, I don't think. Oh. I don't see them no more. They might have got killed out by some <clears throat> kind of bugs or something. Got killed out with weeds, took them, growed up in bushes and stuff. So how long did it take to make wine? You started out in this and then you had to pour it in something else at another point? Or how did you do it? Do you remember? Yeah, I don't remember exactly, but I remember having it in gallon jugs. I had it in gallon jugs out there in a little building sitting on the shelf. Yeah? When I was making it and letting it work off. Okay, so it set, you'd pour it and let it set for a while. And yeah, it, you filled it level full. Uh-huh. You know, the, the jugs. Jug, a gallon jug? Yeah. I got the jugs at restaurants where they bought Coca-Cola syrup in. Uh-huh. And jug, gallon jug. So you made uh, elderberry wine? Elderberry and every kind. Yeah. Well, see, that's something new. 
Now this one I noticed, uh, I see over here, there's another one over here on the floor. This is a wood one churn. Now, I never did use that. Didn't use this one? No, I don't never use it. That might have been that nice with that. Some of the folks had that. Yeah, your wife might have bought that. Now I noticed over here there's a lot of stuff canned. You got a lot of stuff that's been canned over the years in this. Uh, oh, canned stuff. Yeah, you got a lot of really neat canned stuff over here, and you got some down here. Um, so this has been here for a little while, I'd say. Jelly and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I know Lisa was here today and she made some stuff. And another one of your daughters. Yeah, uh, Lisa didn't make that. She was showing it to me earlier. Who made that one? When I forget what daughter she said. Made that. Then you must have a little garden around here somewhere, don't you? Yeah, I had a little garden down there. Okay. But I didn't have nothing hardly this year. Just. Few plants of things, you know, cucumber, just few, just little stuff. Yeah, she she canned this right here today. It's still mm -hmm. hot. She canned some tomatoes. No, well, I guess do you yes, eat. Do you eat a lot of that. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. In the winter time. So, how many gallons of wine would you make at a time? Four or five gallon. Yeah. So how long did that last you? Four or five weeks? <laughs> I had lasted a long time. I didn't drink much of it. I gave it away. Oh, you gave it away. Okay. Most of it, yeah. Well, I, was, I bet you had a lot of friends when you was doing that, didn't you? Everybody come up. Let's go yeah, see Ralph and see if he'll give us a gallon of wine. <laughs> I bet they come over wanting wine, didn't they? Your buddies did. You making wine, <laughs> Ralph? Yeah, I bet I they'd say wine. they'd come over and leave with a gallon of wine, wouldn't they? No, I didn't give them no gallon. I didn't give them none. Didn't give them no gallons I worth. I just give them what they wanted to drink. Oh, no! Oh, Why well, they had? They didn't take it with them. They had no, to, no. They didn't take it with them. So they just come over here and drink and then go home. I guess the wife might not let them bring it home, would they? Did you make it out here in this little building out back? Yeah, right out there. Yeah. There's still a lot of canning stuff and all that out there in that building. You know what? You got some interesting stuff out there. There ain't no cans, though, I don't reckon, is there? There's some stuff out there. We're going to go out there and look in that building. You want to go out there and look in that building? And see if you, don't matter. Hell you, got any, you got any of them jars left out there that you made that wine in, you think? I don't know where there's any of them or not. They might be. Let's go out there and look. That'd give us something to do for a few minutes. Okay, we'll go. Let me put this... Dog on her leash. Looks like it's still in good shape. Well, it is. It ain't been used much. It ain't got many miles on it. It's about 30 years old now, ain't it? Yeah. It's just like brand new inside and everywhere. I see that. Let me walk down here and look at it. Sure. I guess that's the key right there. Hell, I must have lost that with you, done not I? Who's need that? Well, I was going to look here and see if I can get my glasses on. 61,000 miles on it. That's all you got. Damn, that ain't no miles, is it? Well, I'll go on a road trip. I'll have to take it on a trip somewhere. Did you get your air condition fixed yet? Yeah, it worked. You got it fixed? I reckon it does. Hell, I don't know. No, we went out in it one day and it didn't work. It might not now. I don't know. I know they said they was going to take and try to get it fixed for you, but they might not have got it there. I've got stuff right there in the back seat to fix it. Oh, yeah? Just need some Freon in it? Yeah, that's what I've got. I've got it right here. Right? See right here? Oh, okay. 
three on. One, three, and four. Do you use to put it in there yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you must leak a little bit of Freon, huh? Well, that's probably all it needs is a little bit of Freon then. I in, still huh? got a hole to put it in with. I may not have no hole. Sure got some pretty flowers there. Black-eyed Susans, they're growing around here everywhere. Yeah. Let's go on back inside. I'll just go back in there. Okay. Yeah, that light don't burn. What's wrong with that? There it is. The old Miss Blind over here. Now, what are you sitting in here? Shit. I'll get Gil out there. <clears throat> yeah, it's getting hot and humid out there now, ain't it? Yeah. Is that your computer over there? Yeah. It ain't been used none much in a long time. Yeah? I used to, but I quit fooling with it a long time ago. I bought it brand new. I ordered it. And I used it for a long time. Looks like one of them ones you ordered off the Home Shopping Network. Did you order it off TV? No, it didn't come off the TV. Come out of a catalog. A catalog? Okay. I believe where it come from. Shit, that's been so long, I don't The guy that come through selling your hardware for your store? Yeah. He sold knives to people to resell, didn't he? Yeah. Did you sell any knives? Yeah. Yeah, I used to sell knives. Got something that sold good at Christmas? They sold good knives, did you? Yeah. She had good knives. They like case knives. That's the best kind of is cases. That's what people, more people likes. Did you sell quite a few of the case knives? Yeah, yeah, I did. When I get them, I didn't have no salesmen that had them. I had to go somewhere else to buy them. I could leave my tractor sitting back there in the field and that dog would stay right with it till I come back. He'd stay right with it. He was stayed. I'm all sure the dog was the best friend the man ever had. Yeah, that's probably true. It is, I guess. Hell, I'm going to left. I've lost my cigarettes. What did I do? I'll go get them for you. I know where they're at. I'll you be... know where they're at? Yeah, they're on the porch. I'll go get them. I'll be right back so you don't have to get up, okay? Okay. I guess I got some more in there to pack. Yeah, I used to love making that wine. I'd make a lot of that wine. Give it away, most of it, always. Well. I never did drink much of it. I just give it away. Just like having to do as a hobby, I guess. Yeah. Huh? I just like making it. Them people used to bring me, when they bought blackberries, you remember when they bought blackberries, don't you? Yeah. Drove a truck and pick them up along the road. Yeah. And... They'd get some, pick up some that was sad. They'd bring me them, crates and all. I'd empty them out in the churn, give them a crate back. I got all the stuff I needed like that. But made good blackberry, blackberry wine. wine. Yeah. Made real good. It wasn't, they wasn't hurt a bit. Oh, did that. <clears throat> These people, did you let come over and drink wine? Did they ever, any of them ever get drunk and cause yeah. a scene? I've seen them get drunk. Go <laughs> home drunk. They'd blame me with it. 
So they'd have to blame it on somebody. When they got home, the, the wife was going to be upset, so they had to blame it yeah. on Ralph, didn't they? I just went by there to visit him, and he made me drink that wine to see what it tastes like, and it just, it just happened. That's what they'd say, I bet, wouldn't they? Yeah. I remember one time a man and his wife, his May Smith and Alice was her name, they come down to here, walked up through my yard, started up here at my uncle's house to visit them. And uh, I got his old, her old man, give him some of that wine. And he was uh, sitting out there, me and him were drinking wine whenever she come back off the hill that night. <laughs> Was she mad at him? No, she didn't seem to be mad. She didn't want him up there anyways, did she? <laughs> she thought, I said, I'll drop him off here and let Ralph babysit for she me. She might have took a fit on him when they left here. I don't know about that now. Well, she might have been glad to got rid of him for the day. She might have been just as happy to leave him here. Well, he went, she went home with him, went up that holler over the end up that way. I remember the girls was telling me that you accidentally shot yourself one day with your gun. Yeah, through my leg. At church, at uh, why why everybody was at church. Yeah. Was it on a Sunday morning? Yeah. Did you open in the store up? Dropped the gun out and shot yourself. Yeah, I kept uh, my stuff, and I took bags and fars in the store in a big paper bag. And I'd used that bag over and over so much it got kind of war, you know, or something. And I had that gun in there, it's heavy. And when I went to get out of my truck up there, it was on the right side of the road from the store. That's where I got out at. And I had that stuff in my arms and that gun fell out and shot me through the leg, right through there. Did did your wife give you a hard time about not going to church? No. She never said nothing about you not going? Mm-mm. I figured she might have gave you a hard time and said if you'd been in church that morning, you might not have got shot. Yeah, she would have loved for me to win, but I didn't go. Just wasn't your thing, was it? Yeah. I guess I'd been better off if I went. Did your wife go to church every Sunday? Yeah, she did. Sounds like she was a good woman, wasn't she? Yeah. She went to church. She take the girls to church when they was little? Yeah. But I never did go. Was the girls in in any of the Christmas plays or anything like yeah. that? Did you ever go see your girls in anything? Yeah, I used to go out there and see their plays and stuff at church. Yeah, so you did go some. They had any special things going, I went out there. Yeah, especially if they had uh, cooking going on, a home yeah. cook, homecoming, you got to go out there and eat, don't you? Yeah. They always have good food at them homecomings and yeah. church cookings and they stuff. They had that once a year, them homecoming. Everybody had a lot of food. Is that Shipley Grove where they went, or which church? Right out here, Shady Grove. Shady Grove. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Shipley Grove's where you met your wife, though, ain't it? Is that where you was going? Was it Shipley Grove oh, Church? Oh, yeah, that's where she went to when I met her. You met her? At Shipley's Grove. Yeah. They used to be more young people hang out at Shipley's Grove than there was out here at this, and they didn't hang out out there like like it did at Shipley's Grove. All the young people was out there. <clears throat> of course, you know, that's where I wanted to be. That's where I went. Was you going to church out there? I went, but I didn't go for the benefit of the church. You went out there looking for a woman, didn't you? I just went out there to have a big time. <laughs> well, you found your wife, so that turned out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I got her. What did you get? You don't, remember, you don't remember her, do you? No. No, I never met your wife. 
But your daughters talk real well of her. They oh, say she's yeah. a wonderful mother and great yeah. woman. Yeah. She was a talker, too. She liked people. That's what Joey says. And uh, Lisa, yeah. they both said that uh, she would have been the one that could have really talked a lot, told a lot of stories yeah. and things. We're going to make a video about, about her one day. About a video about about your wife. How would you make it? Well, we're just going to show some pictures uh, that you know of when she was doing stuff with the family, and maybe some of the video footage you took. And then the girls are going to get together and just talk about her some. I we're got a lot of moving pictures. I know. Yeah, you do. How do you know? I've seen them. Seen them? Yeah, I've watched some of them. You what? I watched them. You did? Mm-hmm. Who gave them to you? Joey. She had them on a DVD. Yep. I didn't know she'd copied them. Well, she did. I think all the girls got to copy was something like that off of a film, a movie role and copied off that way. Well, originally they copied it off onto VHS tapes, and they did that back in the day. You'd have to roll the film on the camera, then you took a a video recorder and you recorded the film while it was playing on the wall, or they oh, made a little wow. box you could put it in. So you had to play the film, then re-record it with and a new record it off of the film onto I mean, a off video of the screen. Yeah, and then you. So we finally got it to where now it's uh, we can put it on the internet. On you know it's on your videos I've been making about you. There's some of that footage in the videos. I put the footage of your old. They didn't give you them old films, did they? No, they didn't give me nothing. I just copy. I take and just made a copy off the DVD. It's hard to explain, but it's like you know how you make a copy of something on a copy machine. You copy a paper. Yeah. Well, I copied her DVD, so I just made a copy of it. So I had a copy then. She still got her copy, and then I made a copy. And now you can make copies and put them on your phone, like this phone, or on your computer. You make a copy. The just... M I got was a tuck with a movie camera. Yeah, I know. A they... roll, little 400-foot roll. Yeah, you still got them in there. foot I guess. You still got them in there. Yeah, I still got them. They're probably still good. Yeah. Yep. I need to get that old much projector out and look at them again. Yeah. I think it's in the garage down there. Hey, hey.